Like it started to kick in, I fucking went outside and I'm looking at the moon because you know last the well night before last it was like the uh blood moon or whatever that shit was. Man, that shit was creepy. It was creepy at first. Look, this the funny part, right? I go outside, I'm like geeking. I go outside, I'm looking, I'm looking at the moon. And the fucking clouds around the moon, they started to come in around the moon and they and it turned into like a giant cyclops. <laughs> it turned into a giant cyclops. And he started going like this, like he was coming toward me because I was like turned to where I was trying to, I was, a, I was already spooked because I could feel all these fucking, I could feel everything around me. Like I was spooked as fuck. I don't know why. I think I was spooked because I didn't know it was going to come on that hard. But then it was trippy because I'm looking at the moon and like as the moon started changing to this giant cyclops with the clouds, the clouds is becoming the head of the cyclops and shit. And when it transformed into the cyclops, it was like going like this towards me. So like I'm already holding the door handle. Man, I started like walking like towards the going to the house because I'm like, fuck that. I ain't staying out here because I feel people around me and shit. So when I open the door handle and I start to go in the house, the tree bushes went. Man, I ran all the way to the almost fell running in the house. I said, what the fuck? Hey, it scared the shit out of me. I almost fell coming in the house. But I like came in the house, but then, you know, I'm like sitting in the house and I'm like tripping off of it. Like, God, wait, wait, what the fuck? It's just a fucking Cyclops outside. Like, you know, he's not going to be able to get me in this motherfucker. So I'm like going, I'm like tripping off of that and I go back outside. When I go back outside though, it was fucking trippy because the stars, they started like communicating me it was like three that was like just like straight like one two three like they made a straight line but then like when i started looking at them they start shooting these little it looked like fucking like stardust <laughs> like stardust and they were shooting them towards each other and it was making lines like almost like a grid or some type of shit i don't know it was they were shooting them towards each other but then it was crazy because like once they noticed me it was like other stars started popping out and they was like all just like paying attention like looking at me and then they started forming shapes and different symbols and then i keep on thinking this one symbol is something like a it's like a horseshoe I said the unk, but I don't know. It was like a like a, a a funny type horseshoe with like a line with like a line at the bottom or something. But it looked like a like some type of horseshoe. They start and they like telling me like we used to talk to your ancestors. Like yeah, like that Tyrone. It was something like that, but then it had a line at the bottom though. And it was like saying like we used to communicate with your ancestors. And I'm like what? I'm like okay. But y'all telling me all this, y'all showing me all these symbols, but I can't understand none of this shit. Like, I'm just looking at all this shit take place, and I'm like, the stars is fucking talking to me. They showing me, and they like, yeah, we used to communicate with the ancestors, and we used to, they used to, like, I don't know, they used to communicate with the ancestors. This is all they was explaining to me and shit. That's what I could remember because as as I when I came out of it, it's a lot that I forgot that I remembered while I was there. And it was like, okay, I'm looking at these stars. And then the shrooms took me back to my dream to where I had a dream about this before I even did it. And I'm like going, I'm like tripping out, like, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I'm like, no. And they like telling me, bro, we already taught you about time and we explain this to you. Like, why do we got to show you this same shit again? Because it's like I seen my whole dream of the whole day fucking that I did and what 
me looking at the stars and everything, it just replayed in my mind, like, boom, like we showed you this already. You know what I mean? And it had something to do with time or something. But then it's like they got kind of angry at me, like, you know, why do we got to keep showing you the same things over and over again? And I'm like, Nick, I'm human. You know, I don't understand this shit. Like, you showing it to me. You can show me a thousand times, and then my mind just not going to want to accept a lot of it. And, but it was saying, like, it was explaining, like, how the dream world is kind of connected to, to this world in some way. You know what I mean? But they already showed me this uh, possible. Like, five or six times doing a trip. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. They showed me, dude. And they told me, and I'm like, going, oh, okay. But I understood it at the time. But then once you come down, it, it like kind of goes away, it fades. But it, man, the dream world is connected to this world. So I was really lost. I was really lost. I went live with some of it. I'm going to have to go on. But on Facebook, though. On the uh, on the Truth Family page, I went live with some of it. I'm gonna have to go watch it because I because it had me stoked all day yesterday just thinking about it. Because after that, like I'm talking to uh, what's the name of them on the uh, Discord and shit, man. I'm thinking I'm tripping. That's the only reason I didn't stay on the Discord because the information I was getting it was like no, like. I don't want to be saying this to sound like I'm fucking crazy. I'm hearing all these things talking to me and fucking showing me shit. Fucking the moon get covered and it looked like a fucking brain in the sky. It looked like a brain and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then it's this dude in the black cape standing behind the moon like this. And then sometimes it's like he doing like this and shit. And he fucking got these fucking things like spine and shit but it's like black and i'm like so i'm already fucking scared man i was kind of spooked i was scared so i think that's why i came back in the house i said fuck that i'm going <laughs> see the blood paper residue on your lungs oh wait i'm supposed to get to that i'm about to tell y'all how i even did that right now uh I seen I seen that shit. I seen all the destruction I covered. I did with my lungs and my heart and my body. Period. You know what I mean? But I came back inside. I'm like, fuck that. I gotta go back in the house because you know what I mean. I'm scared as fuck outside, man. I leave the door open, but they keep closing the door because they like it's cold. But I'm not cold. I'm outside. I'm not cold. Oh, they like closing the door every time they close the door. It get dark. And then I, that's when I see the people standing around me and it was fucking like kind of spooking me because they was always there the whole time looking, but they was tall. They wasn't short. They had to be like seven feet, like seven and a half, eight feet or something. They was hella tall shadows just standing around in different places. And like, you know what I mean? When I turned off the light, it was like they was gone. It was like I turned on them, turned the light on. They was gone. I couldn't see them. You know what I mean? It was like fucking freaky. But I came back in the house. Yeah, I, yeah. I told them I was tripping like a motherfucker. I broke out running, man. That shit scared the shit out of me. That tree was playing with me or something, cause he shook. He shook some leaves, and I, I was gone. I was fucking fell and shit tripped. Up. <laughs> I said that shit was crazy. But like, okay, this is the trippy part, though. It was more than that that happened, but this this was the trippy part when I came back in the fucking house. I came back in the house and I'm like, man, I'm like geeking and shit. I'm trying to text and like talk online and shit. I can't even really do the shit. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I put my headphones on. I grabbed the headphones. Put on my headphones. I started listening to Boosie Collins. When I put on Boosie Collins, I closed my eyes. I was scared at first, but then I just said, fuck it. I closed my eyes. It started creating. The music started like flowing in, and then it was creating worlds. It was creating worlds, crazy ass different worlds, cartoon worlds, fucking 3D worlds, like fucking uh all different kind of worlds the music was just creating these different worlds and i'm just i'm like looking at them and then uh rick james came on it was like do 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 mary jane 
when that shit came on, boy, the mushrooms came to life. They came out and showed me. I seen what they looked like. I, I think that was them. It felt like it was them. I know it was them because the journey that they took me on, it was fucking. Happens again last night again. That's all. Yeah, my dog I'm scared. Oh shit. Hey, but look, this is what fucked me up though. Like they showed me they self. They fucking like all these fucking teeth on a fucking inside out fucking membrane octopus looking type thing. It was fucking scary. Cause like I can, every time I close my eyes, I see it and it'll just be like moving around. It'll open up like this and it had like, like you can see the, like all these fangs and shit. And you know, and it was like fucking hella freaky, but it looked at, it reminded me of something like an octopus, but not an octopus like type, some, some type of creature like that. You gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to it. And I was in my fucking esophagus, dude. I'm telling you, it was like somebody took a mini cam and stuck it in my es esophagus. Like I was somewhere in my throat, somewhere around here, dude, with the shroom, watching the shroom crawl around through me, right? And then it started taking me. It's like, start showing me things. And it's like, look, okay. It took me to certain parts of my body. I can remember my lungs more than anything. But, uh, you know, like I met my lungs, I met my heart, I met different parts of my body that was like, you know what I mean? It was like fucking crazy. It was crazy. Like, and I'm like apologizing to my lungs and shit like, fuck, I'm sorry. Like, damn, I didn't even, I didn't even know. You know what I mean? I didn't understand. You know what I mean? I, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, it's just certain things. I, you know, I'm trying to explain, but it wasn't really nothing to explain. You know what I mean? It was like, damn, man. It was like my lungs was like a separate person than me, like a separate entity, a separate energy or some shit. I don't know, but it's like I met my lungs. I met my heart. I met like different parts of my body. And then fucking, we just turned into some like, like after i did that i met my lungs and i met like different parts of my body i started crying i was crying because like i'm like fucking going damn man what did i do you know i like you know i fucking destroyed my universe you know what i mean this is my world that i was given and i fucking destroyed it you know i talk about everything outside of me and what they're doing but then at the same time i'm destroying the one that i was given so i'm like tripping off this shit like what the fuck man i'm freaking out like damn i'm crying and then uh some you know i open my eyes i'm looking and like my son was right there playing and it fucking you know this nigga just snuck in the room as usual i try to lock him out you know what i mean he just snuck in here came in here he right there and i'm like i look at him and then my mind snapped a picture of it and like photoshop the fucking picture or something because of because i seen fucking marks on the wall and shit and then in the photo type shit i didn't see nothing i'm trying to understand what the fuck is trying to show me but it's basically was showing me how how we how our our, our how our bodies project this world or some shit you know what i mean and it was like it, you know showing me that it was fake but my mind didn't want to accept it I almost broke down crying because it's telling me this shit is fake. This shit is fake. Like, you know what I mean? The way you even perceive it. And it's like, I couldn't understand that. I, I didn't even want to accept that. So I didn't even want to deal with it. I didn't even want to deal with it. Like, I, I, like it did it like on like four occasions, like four occasions. And it, it's like, dude, it scared me because it's like fucking, it showed, man, it showed me this shit was fake, man. And I seen it and I understood it the way we perceive things at that time. But I can't really explain how the fuck that was even possible that it showed me that. You know what I mean? And it was like, wait, wait, what the fuck? I'm like, you know what I mean? Like this, this, this vessel, you know what I mean? And it's like, what the fuck, man? It, it kind of threw me off. So. Like, I think that's when I started, like, kind of glitching and shit, man. And it was like, I was like three seconds ahead of myself. 
and three seconds behind myself at the same time. It was like different points of reality, like to where, to where, okay, as I'm going right here, me, and I'm taking steps and I pick up this mouse, it's another me in front of me that's doing the same thing, but instead of picking up this mouse, it pick up the phone. You know what I mean? And the one behind me, instead of picking up the phone, it pick up this bottle. You know what I mean? It was doing shit like that. Like, but it was like one behind me three seconds and one ahead of me three seconds. But we all was walking in the same footsteps, but we was doing different things, but it was still the same thing. And it was like, what the fuck is going on? Shit was repeating itself. Like people was talking to me and they kept repeating themselves. I, man, I'm like, boy, man, you said that shit like four times, like four or five times. It was like repeating itself like over and over again. I don't know if it's because they were stuttering or something or if I just knew what they was going to say before they was going to say it. But it was like it kept it kept re it was like on repeat and it was showing me like, OK, time, you know, it's like no end, it's no beginning. It just keeps like on rewind. It was like, you know what I mean? The only way I could put it was like in a, in a fucking, like a Drake, like if you put on a Drake fucking uh, CD and you just put the shit on replay and it just play every song over and over again. But I'm like going, just think if it's like a billion years on repeat on repeat though like a billion years but it's on repeat it keep going over and over again even though sometimes you might do something different you still doing the same thing you still walking in the same footsteps and it's like what the fuck like it, it it was like that you know what i mean this is another thing that freaked me out right when i was listening to boosie collins and like uh me and the mushrooms like we fucking like they introduced me to different parts of my body like we, it's like i was a fucking like i was a camera going through my body dude it was fucking crazy it was sick it was nasty <laughs> it was ugly <laughs> your insides is just fucking ugly <clears throat> so as we going through my insides bruh I, I like open my eyes and I look at my phone and when I look at my phone and I click my phone and my phone come like it light up when it lit up nigga it was like a vortex like a fucking like a tornado coming up nigga it was a vortex like I'm looking at my phone it was a it was a tornado going small from my phone getting big going right up here it was like that, like, like it was sucking me in or something. And I was like, that's why I didn't pick up my phone no more. That's what made me stop picking up my phone because it was like a vortex or like something. And it was like pulling me in, like draining me or something. I don't know. It was fucking weird. Then <sighs> we just fucking, man, that shit turned into Star Wars, dude. Me and the mushroom just, we went around in my body and we started attacking like different bacteria and different fucking, different things that wasn't supposed to be inside of me, dude. I went around with this dude, man. That was fucking crazy. And we attacking different fucking shit that wasn't supposed to be in me. You know what I mean? We attacking it like we, he latching on and we like fucking killing shit. And I'm like, Nigga, I am inside of my body fighting shit with this fucking octopus fucking looking inside out membrane octopus looking thing, man, with hella fucking teeth and fangs and shit. You know what I mean? It was fucking weird. But we did that, though. We rode around and we did that, so... My shit was wearing off. So, you know what I mean? I walked to the store. I got an orange juice. I said, let me get an orange juice. Pump it back up a little. We ain't got the orange juice. It start kind of kicking back up. I got on Facebook. I seen somebody talking about DMT. And I'm like, man, yeah. I'm like, I'm shroom tripping right now. And it was, they sent me a, 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 a video of a song or something, right? 
two people. I think Psych Major sent me a song too. That shit made me cry. And then somebody else sent me a song. And when I looked, when I when I played it, it was like a dude playing a piano. Man, okay. As he started playing the piano, right when the beat kicked in, I said, I just did like this and closed my eyes again. As I closed my eyes, while I see the shroom going around like my veins and shit, like going through my veins, floating through my veins, dropping these little fucking things. I would call them like barnacles. They was like barnacles or something. And they was like, they was like going, and then they'll just latch on like these fucking little specks, these little like fucking black specks or something. And it's like floating through, climbing through and it's letting out these specks. Like, you know what I mean? I'm taking it like, I don't, but it's the man they latching on. They was looking like barnacles. Like I had barnacles like like inside my veins or something. And they was just latching on, dude. He was just going through and he was just dropping these things. And I just watched him the whole time while I listened to the song. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was scary. It was scary, but it was like I got a good feeling for from it. It it wasn't. I didn't get no bad feeling from it, but it's like I don't know, man. It's crazy. I know, but I'm just saying, y'all gotta understand, man. That's just an expression. I know, but it's like, man, God, look.